<laughs> because we were doing it on college football final last night. Clemson, four and four for the first time since 2010. And this league that was once dominated by a team, Paul, that could hang with the best in the SEC. Everybody. They are, they're at the bottom. And this this league is Florida State now and some other nice stories hanging on. The saddest story in college football this year is Dabo Sweeney and Clemson. And Matt, there's not a single person outside of that area code who, who is feeling sorry. This is a, a coach who has thumbed his nose at the norms of where we are today. I'm not saying the traditions. I'm saying where the, where the game is. And, you know, he has, he has made countless mistakes uh, and it's now blowing up. And, and I, I think the, the, the real question for, for Dabo Sweeney and Clemson is, can he get it back? I mean, these are not easy things to get back. Uh, it, you know, Nebraska uh, has been in the wilderness for 25 years. Other programs uh, have been out there. And it's very possible that, that the program, uh, along with Alabama, of, of the last 10 years in college football may be done. I mean, forget the dynasty meeting thing done. That's, that's not even, uh, you can't even say that anymore. That's not a legitimate question. Uh, but, you know, is this program done? And, and quite frankly, is Dabo Sweeney done? And I know that sounds harsh, and I know it sounds like a rush to judgment. But, you know, every time he talks, he sticks his foot deeper down his mouth. I mean, that statement a couple of days ago, a week ago about, you know, the fans, you know, what if we, you know, they'll find out, you know, what if we lost a couple of games? Well, he has now. Uh, they're going to have to fight for a bowl game. Uh, and and this is this is just unbelievable when you think about it. Yeah, and I think they're, they're, they're four and four for the first time since 2010 or 2011 when he was just taking over as interim head coach. And it really is a, 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 an eye-popping look when you consider that Clemson was easily, along with Florida State, the favorite uh, in the preseason in the ACC. And especially, Paul, Florida State, I believe, is going to have an argument for the number one ranking on Tuesday. But look at how Mike Norvell has done it. He has done it in the complete opposite way of, of what Dabo wants to do, which is grab some players from the portal to complement the players you have in-house and go win big. Keon Coleman, transfer portal, Michigan State. Jaheim Bell, transfer portal, South Carolina. He has put some pieces together to be a top four team in the country, and Dabo just won't do it. And he's going to be left behind if he doesn't embrace this model because everyone else in his league is doing it. Yeah, and he had such a recruiting base too, and I think that's where he was winning. And and I I'm not suggesting that that's gone off the deep end. I, he's still recruiting well, but it's it's more difficult. And and, and I think you have to be concerned. And uh, I, I'm 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 not taking anything away from what he's accomplished. I mean, the guy has won two national championships. He played for four national championships. He's been in the playoffs what, five times, I think, uh, Matt, maybe five more. Five or six, yeah, I think it's And, six. you know, he's produced legendary talent from Deshaun Watson to Trevor Lawrence to, you know, a million guys on the, the defensive line. Uh, but I, I don't know when I've seen someone really at the top of the game fall this dramatically, this quickly, and, and not really be, like, in their 70s or something, where all of a sudden you just hit that, that that age and it, it it's a crash and burn. I mean, this guy is barely fifty, I think, um, and and it, it, it's it's staggering to watch uh, what has happened. And and it, and, it, and it it seemed like it happened overnight. Although I really do think this has been trending now for a couple of years. Well, because look, even going back to Taj Boyd, you know, you have Taj Boyd. You have Deshaun Watson and you have Trevor Lawrence, two players that you named. They're generational type quarterbacks. And when you have two of the best quarterbacks, if not the best quarterback in the country, surrounded by some other talent, things are going to go well. When there's a gap in quarterback play, DJU had a moment, transferred off to Oregon State. Cade Klubnick, I believe, was the number one rated dual yeah. threat quarterback yeah. in the country. And it just hasn't, it hasn't taken. And so Clemson but being the if you ask me to list surprises going into November, Clemson being four and four is 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 Easily at the top of that list. But you, you juxtapose Dabo Sweeney and, and really the nemesis that he had uh, really from 2015 
through uh, 2018 that, you know, they played what three or four times in the playoffs, a couple of times for the national championship, but um, Nick Saban, you know, without, without that generational quarterback this year had, has cobbled a team together that, that is on the precipice of one of the biggest games of the year. And with a win sets himself up uh, for, for a dramatic run and you know, and, and then you you measure that against Dabo Sweeney, and, and quite frankly, I, I think it's it, the the conclusion is that Nick Saban is just a far superior coach, who even at seventy two this week uh, is adaptable, where Dabo in his fifties is not, uh, and, and and I think that's the, that's the message of, of two of the really most interesting stories of this year, and and have been of every year. Uh, you know, one guy, the older guy, uh, who, who did, who doesn't need to do anything else, uh, who's already proven himself with seven titles, uh, and six at Alabama, you know, tweaks and changes and, 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 you know, whether he, he, he doesn't embrace the portal or, or NIL, but, but, but he manages with it. Uh, and Dabo Sweeney, who looks like the old man screaming uh, at the kids to get off his lawn. I will be curious as we wrap up here on on this final Sunday of October. I will be curious in the off season if there is if there are conversations amongst him and his administration, like, hey, coach, like we you've been left, you need to start adapting to this world because if not, you're going to be left behind. Give me something I can feel. Try to take a red just so I can breathe.